Hey guys, Trevi here with proof of concept number two to show you. What I'm going to be showing today is how any application is able to reprogram YMAX connectivity values. The problem here is ports 7773, 7774, 7775, and 7776 have been opened up with no authentication on them. Anytime that an application is able to reprogram your connectivity values, you run the risk of man in the middle data sessions and more. So the first thing I'm going to show here is that my phone is not rooted. I'm going to go over to an ADB shell. And you can see the return is a dollar sign. i try to run an SU here. You can see I get back permission denied, which is the same thing you get if you run some random letters there. You can see uh, binary doesn't exist. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and shut off USB debugging. You won't be needing that anymore. Okay, USB debugging is off. Now I'm going to open up my application here. Uh, you can see the first thing that comes up when the application opens is the three ports here. I did not want to include everything that this could that could be done. I did not want this to turn into a virus. Um, I want you to notice also that I'm in airplane mode, which means that the 4G radio is not even on at this point. Um, the first port here that I'm going to show is the get YMAX prop port. This has all of your connectivity values in here, um, including your radio versions. Um, let me scroll down a little more because it looks like it's hard to see. Uh, your username and password that you get when you connect to 4G. Um, I won't show those. And then Realm, which is actually Sprint, you can see uh, that I'm connecting to. The next port here is this YMAX monitoring port. Not really sure what this is monitoring, um, but we can send a get NAI declaration here which comes back with our uh, phone version, firmware version, ROM version, and then if my radio was not off, you'd see my phone number there. Next thing I'm going to show is the get YMAX daemon port here. Um, you can get your MAC address, and although I'm not going to run that, you can also see another command here is dump MAC tree from Flash. It means we're actually talking to the Flash radio here, um, reading and writing these values. The last thing that we're going to show is uh, the YMAX daemon actually has a crash in. If you send a comma to the port, the whole phone kind of dies here. And that's it. Alright guys, I'm going to be including a patch. Um, I'll link to it at the bottom of this video um, so you can all be protected. Uh, HTC has been notified about this on the 20th and I understand they are working on an official patch as well. That's about it guys. I uh, hope it was informative.